Hi everyone, I'm Colin Lowenberg from Meraki Product Management. I'm here with Ryan Freeman from Turnstyle. Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit how, who you are and what Turnstyle is? Sure. Uh, thanks, Colin. Uh, Ryan Freeman. I'm the head of partnerships at Turnstile. Turnstile is a Toronto-based technology company, a Cisco and, and Meraki partner. Um, and we uh, transform Cisco and Meraki's wireless infrastructure into a marketing platform. So Meraki already has a splash page and location analytics built in. So can you give what kind of value are you adding on top of the Meraki platform? Sure. So, so our objective is to help physical brick and mortar venues um, go beyond uh, the analytics and allow them to to action those insights to affect uh, consumer behavior, to engage with their consumers in in a new way. Um, and so, uh, so a couple of ways that that we do that. Um, one is we take the presence information that comes uh, off of CMX and tie that to the opt-in and the sign-in information that we get through the captive portal uh, to create a kind of holistic view of who the customer is. Um, we, in our database, not only view that customer as they interact with one single venue, but we also get a kind of horizontal view of that customer um, across uh, Turnstile's wireless networks. Um, and we combine that information to automatically trigger uh, marketing communications, right, direct engagement, to users' mobile devices. So how, how, which APIs are you tapping into that Meraki is giving you that you're collecting this data from? Two really important ones that, that we use and, and combine to, to power our platform. Um, the first is the CMX Presence API. Um, that allows us to, to really easily um, get all of the presence information, the, the, the probe request data that come from the, the passive Wi-Fi communication between Wi-Fi enabled mobile devices and uh, wireless networks. And then the third party captive uh, portal support uh, that allows our radius server to manage the authentication process for, for devices in physical venues. That's very cool. Can you give me an example of a real world offer or engaging thing that you've done for a customer? Yeah, so um, a great example of, of a, a shared customer um, is Subway, um, Subway Sandwiches. They have used Meraki infrastructure with, with Turnstile's platform on top of it, uh, essentially to, to power their loyalty program uh, with two major objectives. One is to increase loyalty uh, from their frequent visitors, and the second is to use the analytics to identify when customers are at risk of, of churn or of lapsing from, from being a regular customer, um, and then second, to intervene before that happens. And so a really interesting real-world example um, is we used the presence data um, in Turnstile's platform to understand for different customer segments when they are at high risk of lapsing as a regular visitor. And then we have set marketing campaigns to intervene ahead of time to try to um, prevent that behavior from, from being realized. Uh, and the results have, have been phenomenal. I mean, uh, you know, a, an anecdotal um, statistic is customers who have signed in through the captive portal and opted into this Meraki turnstile powered um, program uh, on average uh, come back 1.8 times more often than, than those who don't. So it kind of speaks to the power of proximity marketing particularly through a channel like Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi brings people back. That's really great. Uh, it's a great example of analytics really making, making waves and giving insights. Um, so one of the things we're doing for our developer community is building a, a new site, a new community site. Uh, ha has that been helpful to Turnstile? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of, of course, there's a lot of benefits from just the collaboration, being able to hear how other companies are, are using the same APIs, interesting new business models with, uh, with those, those APIs. But more, more importantly, and, and kind of more, more selfishly for Turnstile, um, as we look to develop and, and innovate, the access to documentation and the ease of, of sifting through and using that documentation has made our product and engineering team's lives a, a lot easier. So here's a tough question for you. There's a lot of movement towards privacy around mobile devices, MAC address, randomization. How do you see the future of analytics happening and, gr and growing as privacy increases? That's, that's a great question, and I, I think a, a trend that, uh, that, that we're seeing beyond just, just Wi-Fi, but in general in, in the, the analytics and, and kind of data space, is the importance of 
um, of opt-in, the importance of customers choosing to be a part of this data set um, for the benefits that, that they themselves are going to realize. And that's just as true in, in Wi-Fi as it is elsewhere. And so from our perspective, getting customers to actively opt-in, to sign into the Wi-Fi with an understanding that their data is going to be used uh, to provide them with real value in the forms of, uh, of marketing um, helps us uh, both adhere to, to you know, privacy regulations, um, to business norms and, and respect uh, the privacy expectations of consumers, and also avoid uh, some of the pitfalls of, of the passive uh, approach uh, that things like Mac randomization are, are going to, uh, to disrupt. Great, uh, and you can find out more about Turnstyle on developers.meraki.com or tweet at us at gets turnstile and at Meraki. Thank you.